Hello everyone, so today's post will be about how to extract aloe vera gel from aloe vera leaf. This is a very easy DIY and in this way you will be getting 100% natural aloe vera juice or gel because I believe that the gels, the aloe vera gels out there in the market might be processed. They might have a little bit of preservative or some other chemical ingredient in them. So, uh, you know, if you follow this tutorial, you will be able to extract 100% natural aloe vera juice. So, let's get started with the tutorial. So, as you can see, this is an aloe vera plant and these are the leaves. We will now begin by selecting a leaf that looks the fleshiest and most succulent because the gel, uh, the aloe vera gel resides inside the leaves so it is important to pick one that will give us the maximum amount of gel and please don't mind that bug crawling on the pot and um, those leaves are usually found at the bottom of the plant the bottom leaves are the fleshiest and the plant, as the plant grows higher the leaves become thinner I think if you live in a tropical area you should totally pot an aloe vera plant aloe vera plant is quite easy to grow especially in tropical areas it is a no fuss plant and does not need a lot of care and as you already know that it has a lot of medicinal as well as cosmetic uses it can be used as a soothing gel for your face or you can also use it as a light moisturizer you can use it as a hair mask it helps combat dandruff itchy scalp and makes your hair shiny so now I'm just going to show you how I cut the leaf. I basically use a knife to cut it but if you just twist the leaf it will just tear off from the plant. But I usually like to use a knife because it just gives a clean cut and make sure you get to the bottom of the leaf so as to not waste you know any of the leaf or the gel for that matter. And this is how the gel resides inside the leaf and this gel is what makes the leaf so fleshy and succulent. Now I will just demonstrate how to take this gel out of the leaf. As you can see the leaf has prickly sides so we are now first going to get rid of these sides and I am going to use this potato peeler. You can also use a knife if you're comfortable with it but I'm just using a regular potato peeler and I'm just going to peel off both the sides so that the thorns do not end up hurting me while I'm you know taking out the gel and this is how I do it. Make sure you are being careful so that you don't end up hurting yourself with the peeler or with the prickly side. So now that the prickly sides are gone, I'm just going to wash this leaf because it has a little bit of soil and dirt sitting on it. So I'll be back after some time. So yes, now I've washed the leaf and I'm just going to cut it into three parts. You can cut it into as many parts as you want. If you have a small leaf, you do not need to cut it at all, but since mine is quite a long leaf I'm just going to cut into three parts and there goes the first cut the second and the third as you can see the third one is quite a tiny one and a very thin one but we'll still manage to take out some gel out of it and here comes the main part if you look closely you will see that the leaf has two sides to it so I'm just going to peel off the inner layer like the inner covering like so and this is how the gel looks like now to remove it I'm going to make few cuts with the help of this knife just random cuts And just going to scoop it out with the help of a spoon see how easy it is 
to take out the gel this way it just comes off very easily and now i'm going to repeat the same process with the other two parts making cuts and then scooping out with the spoon really makes this process very very easy and now you have your 100% natural aloe vera gel you can use it on your face on your hair on your body and just reap the benefits at this point of time this gel has a slightly chunky texture like it will be chunky and quite slimy uh you can use it like this if you prefer but if you want a more liquidy texture like liquidy you can totally grind it in a mixture grinder or what i like to do is i just use my fingers to break all the big chunks and i would just show you how i do that it is quite easy and you know you don't have to uh, um get through the hassle of cleaning your mixer grinder so i just do it with my fingers and this is how i do it i just break all the big chunks like so and now you have a more liquid like consistency of the gel so guys this marks the end of the video and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys very soon till then Take care and bye